Happy Friday the 13th, everybody. Do you like blood, boobs, and a young, weird Corey Feldman with a odd shaved head? Well, then Friday the 13th, the final chapter, is great for you. It's right for you. Right, not great. Well, then the final chapter is the right movie for you. Get his ass, Tommy! Yeah! Keep going! I, I think he's dead. Nope, nope. You're, you're still... You're, okay, you're still going. Anyway, this here was supposed to be the end of the franchise, but you know how that works. It doesn't end. It makes money, it keeps going. This is not my favorite. That would be part six and part three. This one's for you, Russ. Um, but it's still better than the first one. It's never a huge fan of the first one. Weird. First person. Mystery. Who done it? Throughout. Good. Two acts. First two acts. <sighs> See. I like campy horror. Friday the 13th takes place at a camp. It's perfect for. Something to be campy. I love it. I'm told I'm what's wrong with horror fans, and that's what we get now is just laughs instead of story. I like both. I just also really like just cheesy horror, which the Friday the 13th franchise pretty much after this one turned into. They're all funny to me, but... It's Jason Day. Go out and celebrate. I don't know how you're going to celebrate. What does that mean? You're going to go out and kill people that are you know, doing all wrong things? Maybe don't celebrate. Don't. Maybe, maybe go out and celebrate by watching the movie, but not doing what... Well, spoiler, I guess, for the next one. It's not really Jason. It's a... Imposter Roy Burns. This is going on far too long. So, uh... To everybody here at Real Time Video... Want to wish you a happy Friday the 13th.